What up with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. Uh, and I want to show you how to solve a real, you know, kind of annoying problem with logic uh, that happens uh, when you have like stuff that you've downloaded demos for and then the license expires. And then, you know, every time you open up logic, it's giving you this annoying kind of thing. It just keeps popping up. Um, you know, no matter what you do, all of these are things that I got demos for over the years and just never, um, you know, never decided to buy it. But, you know, the license is there. So I have to go through this process every time I open up logic, it just rescans and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to fix this really quickly, really efficiently uh, and easy. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your plugin manager. If you don't know how to do that, it's in preferences under um, preferences and it says plugin manager. You know, open up this window right here. And then here you can kind of look through all of your plugins and find the ones that have, um, you know, could not be open. You can you literally sort these, you know, by that way. So you can see like, hey, here's some waves plugins and stuff that I have that don't um, don't work and here's some other ones like you know uh, trigger well I, I need to reauthorize that but some of these are ones that um, I don't have license for so you make a note of those ones that you you don't have the license for or couldn't be open or crashed like these two crash validation not authorized these ones like that so if you have waves plugins what you're going to want to do is go into your waves folder uh, and we'll go like plugins v10 and we're going to find like those mastering and those chain in those chambers ones that don't work for me and we just find those and delete them so here's like all of those the abbey roads chambers studio meter bridge these are all ones that i don't I tried out, didn't like, you know, whatever the case may be, and um, just decided to delete those. So we'll just go ahead and just remove these. And we got rid of those. For anything that is non-waves, then you want to actually go into your uh, HD and your library uh, and then drop down into audio and then plugins and components because that's what logic is looking for components and you got to just delete these components so i made a note of the ones i needed to get rid of which is expand we need to get rid of this other one called twist uh and i need to get rid of another one called precursor and that is by psp so that's going to be up here so it should be this one right here Boom, and we delete those, put in the password, and they're gone. Now that we've uh, done that, all I gotta do now is check it, click on Logic, open it up, and boom, it didn't ask me for a single plugin, uh, and I'm ready to jump straight in, and I don't have to worry about, you know, clicking quick and quit and skip and all of that stuff like that, like I normally do 15 times before I open Logic. All right, hope this video helped you. Subscribe, like, do all that stuff you do on the video. Talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Holla at your boy.